What's up guys, it's Andy and today I have a different type of vlog for you. It is not involving horses, but it does involve horsey things. So what are we doing you may ask? We're going to Dover. I've never been to a Dover saddlery and the closest one is Illinois, so my boyfriend and I are packing up for a weekend away to go down to Dover saddlery and just kind of check out what they have. I tried on my show shirts this morning and my show clothes and it didn't go too great. It could have been worse. I had an old pair of Devon Air show breeches and like old enough that they had the Velcro at the ankles. If you can hear that crunching, I am so sorry. That is my rabbit chewing on his toy and he thought now would be like the perfect time as I film this intro for the third time. Habbers, go take a nap. Anyways, I tried on my show breeches this morning. They were Devon Air. Devon Air is a super underrated brand for breeches. I've loved every pair that I've ever owned. And they still kind of fit. I was kind of impressed. They were a little too tight in the waist, but they did snap close. Um, so I probably won't be wearing them, but they're thin enough that they're comfortable, but thick enough that they hide like your shirt line, your underwear line, cellulite, that type of stuff. So I'm gonna see if they have any of those in store. I am going to try on a pair of Tailored Sportsman's because I want to see what all the hype is about. I have two show jackets. I have a Carrots black hunt coat, which is good fabric, nice and thin, very breathable and movable. My mother, like five years ago, allowed me to buy this in a women's size medium, which was way too big for me. I definitely needed a small. The sleeves come down to my fingertips and the armpits are like super baggy. So if I had to wear it, it's not the end of the world. My other show jacket is so old, it still has the padding in the shoulders that kind of give you that crisp cut look and it's very um, restricting when I try to do a crest release. So again, if I had to wear it, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but it's just not like, I don't have anything that like fits me really well. So possibly looking at a show jacket. My show shirts, uh, the one with the long sleeves, is so old it turned yellow. So that one's gonna have to go. My other one is sleeveless and it has a built-in button collar, but the buttons and the, like little holes that they go through are on the inside and I could not for the life of me get it to close on my body. I could do it on the hanger, but not when it was on me. So possibly looking for a new show shirt that maybe has the magnet collar to kind of help with that issue. So for sure breeches, maybe show shirts, maybe show jacket, maybe tall boots. I don't know. I just want to see what they have to offer. Um, horse shopping is not really happening right now just because the market is so bad pretty much um our buying group right now has determined that it's just sight unseen and no ppe you take what you can get and i don't know that i'm comfortable with that um i'm on the fence about ppes because we've had ppes done on horses that ended up coming with kissing spine and it wasn't caught even though we had you know your generic ppe with x-rays it's not something that's always found so i don't necessarily feel like that's 100% going to fix everything, but I'm more of the sight unseen bothers me. I want to ride the horse. I want to know how it feels and like if I like that. And I want to see how they act on the ground because I don't want something that has like really dangerous ground manners. Um, so that's not going well. So we won't be shopping for tack. We won't be shopping for blankets. So it's just going to be clothing and then maybe saddle pads. I'm looking for the contoured jump close contact saddle pads that have the girth protector with the D-ring Velcro as opposed to the um, girth billet Velcro. Um, so that would be like Lemieux, Weather Beta. Both of those have been really sold out online and I don't like the suede ones. I only like the cotton ones. So I'm desperate to find any brand that matches that description to find and stock up on those in mostly neutral colors. So I will be doing a comparison. I did buy a Weather Beta online. I'm gonna compare Lemieux and Weather Beta in an upcoming video as soon as I can get my gray Lemieux back home. And that will be going up sometime in the future. I do have a TikTok about it. I'll put my handle down below. It's at, at Andy Equestrian. And that way you can like check out what my immediate thoughts are in a shortened version. But I will have a YouTube video on that coming up hopefully soon. So yeah, I'm excited to go. We're just kind of getting away for the weekend just to kind of break up the COVID monotony that's been happening in our household of just working, coming home, eating, sleeping, going back to work and just 
need to mix it up a little bit. So we are gonna go ahead and pack up the truck and we are gonna head out to Illinois. So let's go to Dover. Okay, so we just got to Dover and now we're gonna go inside and do some shopping. Goodbye Dover Saddlery, it's been fun. Two hours and 560 something dollars later and all I walk out with is a single bag. <laughs> so we just went to a bar, a brewery, and drank some beer and got drunk while watching Kentucky three day event. Sounds like a good grown up day for me. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a tour of our hotel room. We did already go to Dover. Um, there's another store called Saddler's Row, but I think I'm just gonna do online shopping there because it's like a another half an hour away from our hotel room. And we do still wanna go to Gurney Mills tonight and try and plan like a dinner or something like that. So I'm gonna show you a tour of our little hotel room that we got for the weekend. When you come in our room, um, you've got this nice little like kitchen area. It's got dishes and like everything, sink, refrigerator, microwave, which is super nice. We might stop at Target and get some snacks for tonight. And then it's got like a little desk area, seating area, television. Paul's watching TikTok on the bed right now. And then we've got like a little bathroom area with a closet behind it. So like a lot of mirrors, there's like a lot of mirrors going on here. And then we've got a bathroom and it's like super nice and it's so sunny out today. 
and I'm really glad we came down for this trip. I'll do a haul later. You can see my Dover bag over there and we'll go through what I bought. Okay, time for a tack haul. So first I got, of all the breeches, I got the RJ Classic Mid-Rides. Um, these are show breeches. I tried on the tights and they were just not doing it for me. So they have a little like suede knee patch and they're still not my favorite material, but they looked pretty decent on. So I figured those will be a good pair of show pants because really nothing I have now is like appropriate for showing. And then I got these two tank top zip ups and they're super lightweight, cool. I've been looking for stuff like this for the summer. So I'm excited for those. Then I got a short sleeve black zip up that's um, also got rose gold zipper, which I love. I actually think this one's tailored sportsman. So really love that. Then I got a show shirt and I love it. I love the little design on the insert. It is um, short sleeved. so. That'll be nice for the summertime. And then I got this also short sleeved kind of zip up shirt. Um, I just really liked the pattern. I don't know. It's, it's not something I normally wear, but I really thought it was cute. And then I got myself a dirty blonde hairnet because the brown one that I bought is almost too, it's like it's stretched out like someone used it, which is really disgusting. And it doesn't quite match my hair. My hair is actually supposed to be a little bit lighter than it is right now. I got some heel inserts for a pair of boots that I possibly will be ordering, or I may actually put them in my current tall boots to help the fit. Um, the lady told me that my calf muscle comes like all the way down my leg and it doesn't like really differentiate. So the contoured boots are like not it for me. And then I got some leather preserver and conditioner, which they swore by. So I bought it because your girl is apparently struggling with her boot care. So that is everything that I got in my Dover haul. And now we're just going to uh, rest for the rest of the night and then head back home tomorrow. All right, guys, I just wanted to wrap up the vlog here for this weekend. We are home now. Um, there was another tax store called Saddler's Row that we were going to try and hit up, but it didn't open until 11 o'clock this morning. And we already had to wait till 11 to get to Gurney Mills. So we ended up not going there, but I did order a saddle pad from them a, another company called Wolfwear that does the contour jump saddle pad with the girth protectant and the D-ring uh, Velcro. So that will be coming. So I will compare the Wolfwear, the Lemieux, and the Weather Beta saddle pads in an upcoming video once I have all of the parts for that. And pretty much that's gonna wrap it up. So we'll see you all next time.